Hi, this is another one of Eric and Michelle's podcasts for Mrs. Weber's Chemistry. And today we are going to do an equation where we find the wavelength of a microwave. So the promise for us is today is going to be microwaves are used to transmit information. What is the wavelength of a microwave having a frequency of 3.44 times 10 to the 9th hertz? All right. And how we're going to solve this is we're going to start by making a list of knowns and unknowns. So our knowns, well I guess first we should find out what equation we're going to use. And the equation we're going to use since uh, we already have the light constant and the frequency would be C is equal to lambda nu. And so our knowns are going to be C, which is a constant. And it's always 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And uh, another known we're going to have is nu, which is frequency. And they said that in the equation is 3.44 um, times 10 to the 9th hertz. But I'm not going to use hertz. I'm going to use inverse seconds, which is basically the same thing. And then our unknowns are going to be the wavelength. All right, and the next step is going to be to manipulate this equation. And we want to manipulate it so we can get the wavelength by itself. So in order to do that, we're going to have to divide by frequency. So it'll look like C divided by the V, or nu, is equal to the wavelength. And then, after this, we're going to plug and chug and put in our uh, values. So C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And then we're going to divide that by the value they gave us, which is 3.44 times 10 to the 9th inverse seconds. And inverse seconds means that it would be on top. So the seconds would now cancel out, and it would just be 11 meters. And when you plug this into your calculator, you'll get 8.72 times 10 to the negative second meters. And this is equal to your wavelength. So we just figured out the equation. Voila, champs. All right, so that's it. If you have any more trouble, you could probably ask Mrs. Weber.